Uh, what I'm saying is, can't no, you no, paint No, no, I couldn't have tried. OK. I tried to do the painting and I couldn't do it. I, just, I couldn't uh, physically do it. Even though Elaine could do it, I couldn't do it. Just from have steam. Pretty, pretty quickly. You'll have to become electrified, Doug. Yeah. I could spray the air, but it means um, making this whole take longer to clean up the fucking mess I made. <laughs> Hey, uh, yeah, okay. So what are you doing? I'll just think of something else. What are you, uh, what are you doing here then? Is that that's that base with the? Uh, this is the base now. Put the fingerboard on. on. Got a chop. Uh, just explaining to the viewers. And the got. biscuit. Um, that's the one with the two bits of carbon. Yeah, this has got the carbon fibre rods in the neck now. Uh, it's glued on. I'm just cleaning just the bits of crap up now. Tidying it up. Cleaning just the bits of crap up. Yeah, well, there's bits of glue overhanging there, look, see? Can't I'm just cleaning things like that can't up. Can't you call them fretboard adhesive materials? Yeah. That's what, okay. That's what the guy at Shield probably does. Okay, then. Uh, and I'm just making sure that it fits. Well, can't have been digging the garden with it? Yeah. It's all that. That? Is that's that mud? Th that's just jizz. <laughs> it's not slumber from your chocolate biscuit, is it? I'm, yeah, perhaps I've been slobbering. Half of which you've got in your chest, I can see. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you look, there you go. Mm. It's gone. It's just bits of funge. Funge? Yeah. Do you think Fender used that term? I don't think. There's no proper technical terms like that. This is a good file. It's a funny looking file, isn't it? Sorry? I said it's a funny looking file. It is Japanese. It's saw blades. Look, it's loads of saw blades fastened together. What's it called, technically? So, a file. No, come on, don't be smart. I don't know, it says that. It's not, okay, well, it's not something, okay, it's made by Shinto. Yeah, what and it's... What is the technical term for that file? Fuck knows. <laughs> but it's, um, it's good. Like I say, it's just, they've just fissened, um... Fissened? Yeah, they've fissened all these saw blades together. Uh, is that riveted? Roughened and, yeah, riveted through. The service are good. I still prefer the uh, those for shaping necks. I still like those the rasps. Not the tool for that job, is it? This is, yeah, this is for shaping necks. Yeah, it's, and it does a, a quite a nice job. But it's uh, like I say, it's very good for this. So why are you using that one? It's because it's got a, it's a bit of a beveled edge, so you can sort of. Uh, well, I, I can do this without filing into the pickups. Yeah. That's what I mean, yeah, because the front. Really, should have taken everything off, really. It's and a proper luthier would have taken everything off, wouldn't they? Somebody who knows what they were doing, they had the whole thing stripped. Yeah, well, if you take if you did the pickups, pickups off, Doug, you yeah. wouldn't have been able to scratch them. No, that's true. While you were doing the neck, would you? So, no. Custom would have had uh, yeah, not perfect. So much work have it back perfect, wouldn't it? So anyway, so we're just cleaning it up now, and then now. Uh, is that phenon uh, phenonic? It's phenonic resin. resin. Better known in the trade as frantic plastic. You can tell by the smell, can't you? Yeah. It's, uh, I imagine that's what. That's not me. I imagine that's what if you set fire to somebody's head. Yeah. If, you know, uh, and you're burn, burning the body. I imagine that's similar to what part of a human body. It's formaldehyde, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. Oh. That's why it smells like. Well, it does what smell like it. death. It, smells, oh. it reminds me of death. Yeah. There we go. The dog's off again. The dog hasn't been off. The dog's, the dog's never off. Jesse, just be quiet. Then you were in the morning. What's that? Uh, what was it? What was this single? Thunder ride, bring in the morning. I wonder if he was singing that in jail. He probably is. With uh, no, he's out now, isn't he? Hey. Uh, no. I'd imagine you like to think he'd probably got a plastic dinner tray and gone up and gone booga 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 wow wow. <laughs> I don't think he was anyway. No. He said he was. I thought he'd come out. I think he has. He was in Stafford, wasn't he? Yeah. I think he's out now. Probably vanished with all his money, never to be seen again. Shame, yeah, innit? It was good. Well, Do you know where it is yet? What? I think that's what he used to say to the young lady, innit? 
Let's so keep this, keep this video uh, strictly pre-watershed. Don't you? I had to edit out the last video because of Tim. Tim, why? Wow, all right. Well, what did he say? Oh, I'll tell you later. All right. Well, they did make me laugh at the very end when he when he came in and said, "Have you got a spanner for this? What kind do you want? One that fits the nuts." <laughs> That's good line. I don't think he was joking. I thought that was. I think he was just being himself. I don't think he was. One that fits the nuts. <laughs> Tim, what size? Oh, uh, but then that's that. that yeah, that's, that's that, that one anyway. Oh yes, I've, I've, I didn't glue these. I said I was going to glue them together last week, uh, but I didn't. What have you been doing watching telly all week? No, no, I've been replaning them because I wasn't quite happy with the joints, and uh, I'm still late leaving them to settle. This wood's so old, it settled a long time ago. But yeah, it sounds like an excuse to me. No, it isn't. If you said, if this was my guitar and you said, I'm just leaving these to settle, I'd say, you're taking the piss. I'm not, though. I just want to check on them. Yeah, but they're not settling, are they? They are settling. No, what I mean is, you, you just want to check them. It's nothing to do with the makeup of the wood or the molecular is structure. It I don't think so. Okay. I think you're just waiting to... You think I'm just pissing about? No, I think you just decided to put them there, then playing them again a bit more another day. So that's, you use the word, the term, settle for that. Yes. That's right, settle. Dog's here again. Dog's here again. But he just love a cabinet scraper, I love a cabinet scraper. Mm. This one isn't even sharp. Yeah. Just a straight edge. Which? You could probably clean a million things with a cabinet scraper. Like you could probably clean your kitchen worktop much better with a cabinet scraper you than you could a bloody. Uh, what are you trying to tell me? Clean my worktop. Well, you were actually. You did have some Jeff in your hand. And you were cleaning your worktop when I, I came was. in, which is the first time I've ever seen and you. And it wasn't that. called Jeff. It was called elbow grease. Um, and they they what what, 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 what um, detergent were you using? England. It's called elbow grease. You can't, yeah, but you can't clean, you can't clean grease, grease with water, can you? you need something this to... stuff is called elbow grease, you bloody Oh, it is? Yes. Oh, listen, you know, you knew what I was asking, you should be <laughs> awkward. It's not called elbow grease. Is it really called yes. elbow grease? Yeah. Okay, well, I'll have to go and get that, get it on camera. Did anybody ever accuse you of being an awkward bastard? <laughs> hey? No, never. Yeah. I can't even imagine anybody thinking that. Uh, come on then, that's that. That's that. So yes. what you didn't, you've you've done that. What's going there? It's going this. Uh, I think here. I might have to deepen the fret slot slightly. So what I've done? Sorry. The fret slots will have to be deepened a little bit. So I've. The fret slots will have to be deepened a little. Yeah, bit. a little bit. Yes. Uh, they're almost deep enough. Uh, so what? I've just shaved this down to six. Okay. Yeah. 0.6. Why don't you just cut the slots to the required depth instead of messing around with the axle? Because I didn't. I you just said you'd... Uh, no, I'm just going to have to be slightly deeper. Oh, what's what you mean? Yeah. Yeah. See, you've got to be exact. The uh, viewers yeah. require exact specifications. Uh, yeah, but, yes, but they're not paying for fucking access to all this information, so they can fuck off. I'm doing my best. And it'll be right. But I've got to use a hacksaw because you can't use an ordinary saw on phenolic resin because it's so hard. Yeah. It just wrecks everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. So there you go. So that's that. That's that. I've just got, and I haven't flattened this down yet. I've only just started and putting the curve on. So when I finish doing that, then I'll sort of deepen the slots if they need doing it. And the hacksaw is blades ready for that job. So you still got the Hoffner in there, let's have a look at that. All oh, right, the Hoffner, yes. The Hoffner. I think it might need, uh, I think it might just need now some uh, a light hand sanding. And then I'll still put some base coat on it. It's, uh, oh, it looks much better, doesn't it? Yeah, loads better, and it's, um, it's still dark there, but... It was it was all black line. All this was before. Yeah, you probably kept that there because it's. Uh, I kept it, yeah. Worth keeping it. Too. Yeah. You probably won't hardly see that I think, when it's done. No, well you'll you'll see oh, it a bit, but. Uh, no, 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 I could no, paint it in. I mean. No, 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 no. I could mix a, a brown with a white and get a, a facsimile colour and just actually yeah. paint it there. Nobody will stop him mid gig and say, "Excuse me." No, I think he's selling this. That's why it's being done up. Yeah. So you, does he realise he's going to make a loss then? I shouldn't think so. I think he'll make a lot of money out of well, this. How much is it worth, isn't it? Okay, 50 is one of these. 
different, all the wiring is different than the, uh, all the ones that they were chucking out in the 60s, isn't it? That's still only worth what somebody would pay for. Yeah, it's so, I think they're worth in the thousands though now. I think so. Yeah. Well, again, uh, if you can get it, good luck. Sorry? If you can get it, good luck to him. Yeah, I mean, I've got one, you know, I've got one with a, a, a nice one with a sliding pickup system on it. One of the original sliding pickup oh, yeah. systems, because like I say, I never invented sliding pickups. I invented no, 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 no. opening and shutting a, a sliding a pod, a humbucker. humbucker yeah. So it became single coil or humbucker ah. and series parallel, so it did all different things. The original sliding pickup systems like these are just a pickup that slides yeah. up and down. It's not really that inventive. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <sighs> So all right, I've just got to get a hand sander on that now for a second. Yeah. I can take that and the spray bird down out of the way and you can have your guitar on the bench. Just need a block, which I've put the bottom there. Ah. Are you walking around there? Any of y'all shopper? Sorry? Sorry? Anything else happening? Well, yes, I will be starting on the twin next. I know I threatened to do it last week, but I have been extremely cool with you. Still am. Mm -hmm. so I'm trying to work through it. And on the tenth week now, I'm in this bloody shingles, all rickety or everything. Shingles. Yeah. And it's absolutely horrific pain. Very debilitating. That's, I think that's, well, I think that's ready for a bit of uh, face coat. Oh, very good. Well, I... use it. This is uh, the finish that it's got on it at the moment is nitro. So I shall be using nitro well, throughout. Call me stupid, yeah. but okay, stupid. What? Wouldn't you be better off uh, taking all? the lacquer off the front. What, to make it match? So it's got a uniform sort of look, yeah, or can you sort of uh, match that pretty well? I'm going to see. I mean, wouldn't it be easy just to whip that off for two seconds? It isn't, it isn't, it isn't a two-second job. Mm, why not? It's a big job, because it's quite thick and stuck on. Okay, fair enough, right. I've sanded it down quite a lot already. Look. So I'm just going to repair this side now. Yeah, stop it there. That, as the pickup goes there. Of course, yeah. <laughs> They've, um, that looks it's like poly that, isn't it? polyfiller and all sorts of bollocks, that is. Oh. Shift. Yeah. I'll just give it the uh, foot. Have you just kicked right yeah. away? With me uh, walking boots for support. <laughs> Fireproof uh, adhesive, have you? Uh, yes. Well, fireproof putty adhesive. Yes, I have. Oh, most. I need it for my fire. Yeah, Why do you want it? Of course. 
Well, this thing I'm making every year is a register plate. I'm not saying I want some of yours, but there's... Okay. There's moon bases on it. Yeah, I know, yeah. Two ways of... Uh, no, I've got some uh, fire cement. That's what you... I've got, fire cement. Oh, yes, yeah. But you can also get, like, sort of some kind of, like, you know, like, uh, tube adhesive stuff. You know, this kind of stuff. Oh, right. Adhesive that's, like, fireproof. Oh, yeah, I know. Um, so there you go. Oof. Mm, good God. You like giving birth, Doug? The pain is fucking incredible, honestly. It's unbelievable how bad it is. Well, let's look at it like this. You never know, I've never heard anything like this. Constant, it's been constant, like burning pain. So, Rolf ended up with a prison sentence and you've got shingles. Well, you know, what, what, Rolf ended up with what? I said Rolf ended up in prison. Rolf, oh yeah. And you've got shingles. All right. What well, do you think? It's a punishment or something? I don't know. I'm just making You're trying a to make an analogy. I don't know. Maybe. So you're trying to say? I don't know. Oh. Whatever he says, it's not true. No. So you see, you've lost your sparkle. I know I've lost my sparkle because I'm damn hurting. Mm. It's a bastard, this is. Yeah, but think how good you feel when it's over. When this pain's gone, you'll be, you'll be. Do you know, it doesn't feel like it is going to ever be over. That's the problem. Yeah. It's that every day, and it just fucking wakes you up, and you can't go back to sleep because you don't know how to get comfortable. You can know where to lie. Hmm. Um, it is really bad. It's very debilitating. Hmm. You don't need that. Should I put a link at the bottom of this to the Samaritans uh, the viewers? Uh, well. You might, I might be doing that. I might have to film the bastard. <laughs> I guess if I was ill, I wouldn't even be laughing. I'd probably be like, uh, I'd probably be sulking and crying like a baby. You sulk and cry like a baby without being fucking ill. You do. Oh, it's tough, isn't it? Sometimes living. Hey, it's tough living sometimes. <laughs> Must be hard, terrible hard to be you. Right, I need somehow to hang this up somewhere, really, because I keep knocking it on the floor and I keep bending the bloody thingy, the plates. Why don't I just put it on the shelf or something? You'd think it would come with a, a hook. Why don't you just put it somewhere? Oh, well, I put it on there, but I keep, I keep knocking the bastard off. Stop being, a, stop being an idiot, then. It needs to be in something. You've got too much crap, you have. Look at all this stuff. I know! Why don't you just, like... Well, you're not going to change, are you, but... Uh... No. I got, there's a use for everything I've got. Why don't you make something and stick it up there next to that plane or something so you can just reach up over there? What's that? Uh, what's, what's this? The sand, do you mean? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I just put two nails up and it'd just sit on them. Oh, well, there you go, do that then. Like that. No, because I'd bend twat it off. Wouldn't it then? I'd knock it off. That wouldn't might you? bend. Wouldn't it? What, you, what, yeah, what do you want to do with that piece of metal you bought? I just want to cut it out, that's all. Then I want to oh, ask right. you something. How what to... are you cut it out with? Have you got a metal thing? Oh, I've got a metal band saw, yeah. Oh, but that's it there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I need to cut out a little um, observation hatch, and I've got an idea for uh, how to secure it. And I think you, you, you'll know what I mean. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Well, we'll have to clean all this up before we put your. Um... Oh, don't worry about that. Well, I am worried about it. Oh, yeah. I think that's time I got myself a new piece of rubber for this bench. Mm. This is um, showing signs of wear, would you think? Have you saved up? Have you saved up for one? I've got one over there, you just need to push it up. I've already got a new one. Oh, he's over there. Yeah, I mean, it was there last week. You've got to be careful with them because you, you, want it, you want it to be tough, trying all the crap that you did put on it, but you don't want it to be so tough it scratches in. Ah, I just remember fabulous. I remember something as well. The straps broke there. Oh, yeah. And you've got some super glue, haven't you? I've run out. Yes, there. So I just need to glue that bit there that's yeah. sticking out. Another job. We'll just throw it away. You're kidding me? It's a bloody 200 quid wash, this is. And the two quid strap. No, it's the genuine strap. OK, that's uh, clean enough and, and soft enough for your doings. Uh, you, have you got a drawing on that where you want to cut out? What do you want to cut? 
I'm going to cut there. That piece, this, yeah. this piece out. Yeah. And then I want to just cut like a hole, yeah. about, I don't know, like an inspection hole size, yeah? Yeah. And then use a bit from there to create a plate on the underside. Yeah. It's for your fire, yeah, is it? Yeah, it's for fire, yeah. And what I've done is here, look, I've cut this already. These. See, see here, look. I just, wanted, I just want, to, want you to put a couple of holes in with your drill. Then I'll just so save me drilling because my drills are shit. Then I'll just fix it to the wall. Just like, I'll do that. Just. But that, I mean, I can cut this with myself. I can do this. Just want your advice on the uh, creating a little hatch. I've got an idea. Basically, I'll tell you what it is. Well, for cleaning your chimney, is it? Yeah, you have to put one in, apparently. And then, obviously, when I fit my fireplace in a few days, I'll cut that out myself. Yeah. But if I create a plate, a hole, and then create a cover, and then how about I take a slither of this, bend it a bit so it's like like that, and then a, a bolt with a wing nut, so it goes so the the bit of metal goes on top of the plate, and then the wing nut screws the plate up to it. How about that? I don't know. I wasn't taking any notes of you. I was just thinking about to clean up over there so that you don't smack all my stuff. Beginning to get the impression that you're not interested. Alright, uh, well, I'll do it. I'll, 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 I'll move this guitar out of the way. I'll, I'll do that. There you go. This needs polishing, this doesn't it? That's all I've got to do with this now. Flat it down and polish it. They haven't finished that yet. There's a bridge on. No, but it's, it's nitro, it needs time. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. Something about that spray gun that she loves. So he jumps up and dashes. She knows up. when I'm spraying that gun, it means that the compressor's going to come on yeah. so she can go and bark at it. Record. <laughs> well, you're not even being, you're not even being protected because I don't think she'd even savage anybody, would she? No. She certainly wouldn't. Mind you, it's sort of. Uh, Especially it looks like she would, so. Yeah. Job done, I suppose. Yeah. She was playing with a big Alsatian up the uh, the woods yesterday. <laughs> and a little baby uh, Labrador. She just plays with everything. Yeah. When she's off the lead, she plays with everything. When she's on the lead, she needs to has this need to protect us. Mm. So she goes in protection mode. And uh, that's what she's doing now. Surely she'd say, somebody attack him. <laughs> That's what she's thinking, really. Yeah. Is that a beeswax duck or is it uh, a synthetic wax? Oh, it's synthetic crap, isn't it? The customer won't be happy about that. No. It actually isn't as good as beeswax either. Only the best for this guy, hey? Mm. Clogging actually now. Which was shards of metal that flew across from my. Uh, yes, I think it was. From my uh, register plate work. Yeah. Thank you for that, by the way. Did it all work? Yeah, but... father's job. I'll fix that in tomorrow. Too late now. Might even have a fire up and running by the weekend. Well, my fire works now. Oh, the only thing I haven't done is sealed round the. The jobby. The jobby? Around the back of the fire. On the back? Yeah. Because I've got an oval jobby that yeah, I've got the it. round pot in it. Because I would have to go and buy that Canadian one, wouldn't I? Ever so good though. It really is. is that I, think it's built, I think it's built for their minus 50 bloody winters, my thing is. I remember the first time I lit it and put some coal on it, it got the and it was it was snowing outside. We all like to run outside because he's had heated the house up so much. We couldn't stand there, we couldn't breathe. Hmm. Well, that's because the amount of coal you put in. It is. It's nothing to do with the fire. Yeah, well, I didn't know that at the time, that uh, it was going to no, cook the house in two seconds flat. Hmm. It's um, I have a fire. I've had to put bricks in it and all sorts to calm it down so you don't put too much fuel in. Hmm. I haven't used it for a couple of years since the, all the birds took... Uh, 
to root in my chimney. So you've not been using that at all? No. Huh? No. Five, uh, f there was five big nests in the, in the chimney. Indeed. Mm. I think uh, protected, I hope, like peregrine falcons, yeah. kestrels. And where the builder had built the uh, steels across into the fireplace, they'd, uh, they'd left the side of the, obviously the steels are that shape. Mm. So the, the fumes from the fire could just dissipate all the way through the house. Marvellous. Lovely. So it's just as well I haven't used it for a couple of years, isn't it? Hey. <laughs> yeah, but it's all put right now. Yeah, but you've been using it. For, it all. But you've been using it for years in that condition. So no, I haven't used it for a couple of years. No, but you'd have been that. Oh, before that I was, yeah. But the H frame thing wasn't I mean, That's right, two years yeah. ago. So you've been breathing these fumes in possibly. Yeah. Have a lot there, mental. Yeah. Possibly. <sighs> Yeah, this is clogging it up, this is. Very bad. I'm going to have to clean this off. Yeah, it's clogging up the blade. It isn't lubricating so much as clogging. Why don't you whip a bit of oil in there as well? No, I don't want oil in the guitar, do I? Plus, I'll be gluing the frets in. Fair enough. Good point. Well, just clean your blade then. That's all it is. That's what I'm doing. What with your fingers? What else do you want me to use? That's all blade cleaning that's system. What them fingers were put here for. Yeah. I'm definitely going to have a slip in the, in a minute with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I've taken off the, the tang of the blade. So well, I've had to. I'm going to put a new blade in. A certain width, new blade. But I've taken the tang off with that my. That's a new blade. It's a new blade, yeah. yeah. Just putting it in. So I think your system's fucked. Yeah, it's, it's, but it just takes time. It's one of these tedious jobs, it just takes a bit of time. I've also got to do tedious jobs, I've got to do inlays this week as well, some diamond inlays. So anything star. Else, anything else you classify as tedious? Star inlays, no, well, they're just cutting them out, isn't it? It's. Uh, it's quite simple to do. It's just tedious. Mm. I quite enjoyed when I, you know, when I did the two uh, trees of life up the twin neck. That was two months in the doing. That was off a day, fate. Yeah, that was two, 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 two months just doing inlay work. Mm. But that was really enjoyable because mm. even though I did file all my fingers down to mm. nothing, because there were tiny little bits, and I was just sitting there filing yeah, yeah, each yeah. one. But that was really good because I was. Not only making the tree of life, I was making it not cartoony, it was like trees would be. Mm. So, that was more enjoyable, that was. And, uh, that, yeah, I quite enjoyed doing that. I quite enjoyed making him his triple neck. I might, uh, that was tedious, but that was quite good in the end. I forgot you had that. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that, that, guitar. Uh, quite enjoyed them two builds. Mm. I've enjoyed the... Uh, Acoustic. Even though I don't really want to make acoustics, I've quite enjoyed making that uh, as a coat one. Mm -hmm. And I quite enjoyed making the um, Mark Bennett's. You can't say you quite enjoyed making it because you didn't finish it, have you? I haven't finished it, yeah. yeah. Uh, I saw you on Friday, Saturday, you said there's no rush. No. <laughs> Just as well, really, because I haven't got a rush in me. Mm -hmm. What are you saying about stripping? I wasn't saying anything, not a thing. It's not about strippers. No, I wasn't. I wouldn't dream of it. These are very good clamps, by the way. Mm. Clamps are clamps. Well, a clamp isn't necessarily a clamp. No, they're all different. Uh, all the clamps I've got are all totally different than each other. Mm. Which is a nice thing, really. Have you got individual names, Douglas? Uh, is this yeah. not Arthur? No, them, that's clamp, and that's clamp, and that's a clamp. But them, I don't use them for anything strong. Uh, all these, really. I like, um, yeah. I like clamps that put even pressure on. You can't put too much pressure on, you know, when you're clamping, otherwise you squeeze all the glue out. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. So, you know. Just about right's always nice. 
I like, I like them. I do. That's a, that's a magic clamp, that one is. Magic? Uh, that was my dearest clamp, that. But it's fantastic metal. Tough, uh, as, tough as tough. Even. Clamped up for how long? A day. Just a day. Just a day. And then left again to stand until I deem it ready to. Start working on. Not very good. I normally leave them a week in between certain jobs. Mm. So each bit settles. I still haven't found anything where to hang this fucking thing. There you go, that's it. That's it, hang it in there. So at 50, you became what? Depressed. At 60? Super depressed. And 70? Silly fucking sidle. <laughs> I bet you don't want to make 80, do you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but that's the thing, isn't it? You want to make these ages, but you don't want to be them ages. Yeah. Oh. That is the problem, isn't it? It's dichotomy. Well, yeah, I can see what you mean, because when I heard you and George Glover talked about being 50, <laughs> ever since then, I've just, uh, the thrill's gone a little bit. I don't know what it is. Yes, it's a bad business. I don't know what it is. Oh, I'm going to have to change the blade, it's not fucking I was talking to Steve Barrington when he came, the guy, my friend who had the stroke, came around my house yeah. about three weeks ago now, and I said, uh, I said, oh, I don't know what it is, but, you know, I'm not unhappy, but I just never feel totally refreshed anymore. Even though I go cycling and I don't eat too badly. And he said, yeah, that's your age. I said, it's nothing to do with my age. And he said, no, it is. He said, when you get to about 50, you just never feel refreshed. No. It's, you just feel fucked. I think a lot of it's got to be sort of subliminal, uh, you know, in your head, hasn't it, really? Because, I mean, there's plenty of people out there who are, who are like your age and happy as Larry, aren't they? Yeah. Jumping around for joy. That's because they're fucking stupid. <laughs> 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 so, uh, do you think you're uh, uh, accommodating our friends in America's opinion of the stereotypical English miserable bastard? <laughs> doom, doom, and for more, more doom. doom yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Well, with a hint of irony. Of course. Yeah. yeah. They don't know you being ironic, do they? I better piss off soon, actually. Now, this is working. There we are. Oh, there you go. I take it that is a fret saw. It is. So why didn't you use that in the first place, then, you numbskull? Because I don't want to fuck the bastard up. Well, why don't you spin it's it, then? It's very hard, this is. Why don't you go and buy another one? Oh, because it's phenomic. Phenomic, yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, you might as well leave all your stuff in, in, the, in the packaging and never open That's it. That's right. Look at all my lovely new tools. Are they good? I've no idea. I've never used them. I'll tell you the truth, I'm not using this uh, this router down here on the on the floor. And it's a fest tool in there. There's a brand new fest tool in there. Yeah, no, no. Um, I'm using the big fest tool that was stuck in the fire, the one that's got its knob oh, missing now. Yeah. With the missing knob, it's knobless. You obviously haven't. So in the week you haven't been bothered to try and find it? Well, you can't find it. Why don't you get one of your slaves just tried. to do it? Everybody's had a look for it and they don't know where it can possibly be. No, they're not really it's looking. bounced. They're not really looking, are they? It might have been brushed up and put in the fire with all the dust. They go, no, I look down here, dog, nothing here. No, but it might have been brushed up. Yeah, you probably it, was. it might be stuck in all the dust and then gone in the fire. Yeah. I think you would have noticed. I don't think they would. Oh, they? Well, no, because I had a big bag of sweepings down there that's gone in the fire and I've put them in the fire. So. Yeah, but nobody sweeps you up just apart from you. just take a shovel do. full at the time. I you don't see it in a shovel full. I thought nobody sweeps up apart from you now. 
No, Susan came. Susan, uh, Susan had a sweep round for me one day because I was, I was touching the ceiling. I was standing on so much shit. <laughs> That's probably why my hair's gone. I've rubbed it out on the ceiling. So what's the delivery date for this? Cost me then about 2023. Uh, I could finish this tomorrow. <laughs> Never mind that. You could. And I might. Now you've done that for it's all glued up. It okay. doesn't need it's spraying. You've got to fret it, don't you? It's got to be waxed. I've got to fret it, yes. Nut. Yeah, nut. There you go. Next month. That'll still be here. You no, know, I've got to level the fretboard out and shape it properly. That's a too many job, isn't it? Not real on phenolic, it doesn't, no. No, but you're not, you're not straightening up... I can't the, do it with a hand plane. You're not straightening up the... Oh, you I got can't do it with a hand plane. Oh, you mean you've got to straighten up the fretboard? Yeah, you've got you to the, level thought, the fretboard oh, I thought you meant properly. the frets, I was going to say. Yeah, fair enough. Um, I thought there's no, normally people turning up here. Don't people come here? Uh, sometimes. Time. Do you want your guitar doing before we go? I'm not, if you don't feel like doing this, I'm not bothered. Why did you bring it then? Well, I didn't know you were on death's door, did I? I'm not. Well, you don't know. We're all at death's door. We just don't know when it's going to happen. Yeah. We don't know when it's going to open. Well, if you can look at it quickly if you want to, yeah. yeah I'm, okay. not, I'm not going to force you, am I? Yeah. I will do, though, because I'm bored of doing this. Well, stop that then. Well, get the guitar out there. I'm not I mean, opening yeah. your case for you. I've got to do everything. Yeah, you have to do everything. Jesus Christ. Hey, eh? what do you think? Dog's disgusted. <laughs> Might make yourself another coffee, actually. Lovely, lovely. What do you want to do to it? Well, I've got to put some strings on. I want some, some of your super juice on the net, on the fret, on the some super juice on the on the fretboard. <laughs> I'll go get some strings, but in the case. <coughs> That's more like it. That's more like it. I think I might start using my concert 60 again for a bit. I've got Mark Sweetmore, he's uh, kindly uh, fixed it for me, some kind of something on the. Uh, I forgot what it was, resistor or something was going up and down. The volume was, the volume was going up and down slightly. Yeah. And he kindly uh, fixed that for me. And then my other, that fancy Lando Fender, which is actually really good. The power lead, yeah. it just stopped working. He had to look at it for me. And the power lead, it actually, you know, the cores, like the, you know, earth neutral and uh, yeah. whatever it is. They broke at two different places in, in the cable. Why is that? Probably rubbish, uh, rubbish, rubbish power lead. I think you can give it a lick of emulsion then. Hey, eh? who's that? I thought you were only brushing dust onto the guitar. What's going on? Yeah, who's this thing in there? I've no idea, you'd know better than me. Is it guys and dogs or something like that? Hang on. I don't know. Put the thing in, the wrapper in there, so we don't know what colours what, do we? I do. Can you remember? OK, I can't. Guys and dolls? It could Well, who else can it be? I don't know who it is, if it isn't that. I've never even heard this song. One of them sort of people, you know, doolies or something like that. Yeah. My uh, Radio Four's gone off my car, so I've been driving around listening to Radio Stoke a bit. Jesus Christ, the same songs every hour. Well, well listen to it. Cause I've got nothing else to listen to. It's either that or well, interference. Well, that's just as bad. No, it isn't. There's no adverts. Will you be going down with John tonight? Yeah. I won't be able to drive myself at the moment. Uh, you're going to get hammered? I can't. 
uh, with all the drugs I'm on. Will that help? Eh? Hey? Will that help with the fuzzy feeling? No, no, it makes me feel sick. I even have, I'm having sick feelings as it is. Mm. I had that the other day when I had two bowls of uh, fruit and fibre, one after the other. Mm, that's another thing. I haven't, I haven't done any cereal now for over two months. I can't face that in the morning. I've been a porridge guy for years, but I've just got so bored of it. You know that uh, old-fashioned porridge got like big flakes? Yeah, lovely. I really like it, but yeah. I, just, I think I'm uh, messing around with Kerry. Yeah. I suddenly I had, uh, I just uh, lost my mind and had some uh, special K or something. And yeah. I just... Are these oh, rotor sounds? Yeah. Well, I'm a rotor sound artist, Doug, as you know. Artist? I'm a rotor sound artist. I'm an endorsed rotor sound artist. <clears throat> um, yeah, so Special K, I had, a bit, I had a bit of a mad phase on Special K. Fruit and nuts, but they stopped doing it now. Yeah? Yeah. I hate these tremolo systems. The string is the... I don't know why they don't just make the whole thing run through smooth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not exactly being a chore, is it? Let's oh. be honest. Yeah, poke and prod at it. Poke and prod. Uh. Well, you, now we you know what it must be like if you're like a, a ventricular surgeon or something like that. I'll take this, Poking and prodding. This plate will have to come off of this one unless we've. Yeah, no, yeah, what you have to do is you have to do this. Normally after the. There you go, just pull that through. Yeah. I usually leave the tremolo in and just angle it. You know what I mean? Previous lead on I'll, I'll uh, string it up you know. I'll do that. Ronnie Raffle. That's a good name, isn't it? Go, up you get. Let the master take over. Free of charge as well. Good. Are you in pain again? Yeah. <laughs> Never stops, it just degrees. It gets worse. And... You make me feel bad now, taking the mickey. Look, you know, it's, uh, it's unbelievable. Why don't you buy your mum a present with that pound? Is that a good idea? See, the glass was telling me his dad got ripped. What is it? Shingles. Shingles. And he was and he was a really tough man, and he couldn't take it. It was so bad, the pain. Oh, I said, I don't know. Who's this? Let us know, Steve. Steve, the glass man from round. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, who did remember that? Uh, so no, they're bad. Did, so we're going to put that right. not believe it until you get it. Because I never even considered shingles before until I got it. Well, a guy I used to work with, he had it, and he lost his sight. In fact, his eye just withered up. He got an infection in his eye. It went all white. And it literally shriveled up, shriveled up into like a little prune thing. Yeah, that's cheap. I had the, uh, I had the. The plumber across the road come across me. Like. Well, the guy made the chips when you when you this burnt down. Yeah, no, that was that was that was the other one. Anyway, Mick the plumber came over and last week and he said his mum died of shingles. <laughs> He's a cheerful bastard, isn't he? Yeah, she must have had something else. Don't die of shingles she unless did. you jump off a cliff because you're in pain. She died of shingles, but she was 103. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, but well, it would have been a related death to shingles. I was joking. Yeah. But no, it's true. Yeah. Well, if you climbed up that, if you climbed up that uh, scaffolding outside now to the top and jumped off head first, yes. we could say that you died of shingles. I could because I might fucking do it with the pain. Yeah. Hang on, I'm just going to finish off your job. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Why don't you just do that?